Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and today I'm going to share with you my new Blocks 4 Plus template. This support for WordPress CMS. And you might know my website is quite minimal. It has uh, not a lot of content, which is a good thing in my opinion. So the first template I have built for WordPress, the first theme I should say, is called minimalist and uh, that's for a few reasons for actually three reasons well first of all it's going to be very basic it's a very basic very simple template and i've done that for three reasons first of all i do like templates like this i do like websites which are clean easy to navigate and simple and this is basically the story of all of my websites, even my uh, like own website is very similar to the template I'm releasing this uh, today. But another reason is because this is the first WordPress for uh, Blocks 4 Plus WordPress theme I'm going to add to Blocks templates. And it means that, first of all, many of Blocks templates members uh, will be well, first, uh, for the first time uh, experiencing WordPress. I guess some of you have previously worked with WordPress, but many of you are new to it. And I mean, even me, I was using WordPress many years ago, but now, now I have to use it again. And honestly, the long story short, I do like how Blocks works with WordPress. And well, uh, these are the reasons, but basically let me show you what kind of template you can expect. Minimalist, uh, as you can judge from the name, very minimal. And this is actually running on my other domain. This is the WordPress theme. This is the WordPress website and it has the blog and a few pages. But uh, that's another topic. I know this time around there will be a lot of talking because uh, this is very important to understand first. There are many ways we can approach building WordPress themes in blocks. We can build everything in blocks and just add the block, for example, or we can build only page templates in blocks and then populate everything via our WordPress dashboard. This is, for example, my WordPress dashboard and uh, this template and maybe my next templates will be using the first method meaning that all of the pages here i have four of them on top in the navigation are built in blocks this is only manageable only editable inside blocks app and uh, this these are very simple pages obviously and i've done that because i wanted well, once again for you to slowly roll in into this wordpress world but basically this is this might be perfect template for somebody who wants just to blog and wants to have a very clean website, this contact form, there's links to some projects, maybe about page, this image and text, and the blog page, which is the home page here, which has the grid of uh, posts. And each of these posts will bring you to the, uh, obviously the post itself. And all of the posts here have the category and tags, for example, each of the pages needed for, for example, category in this instance have been created. And well, without talking too much, let me actually show you. Uh, this is what you get inside the download package file. Maybe I will add something later, like guidelines. I will see. But basically you have two blocks files here. Uh, first one is the regular blocks project. And the second one is WordPress project. So the reason why I have two of them is because I'm also releasing the WordPress free, let's say that basically the static website, uh, static blocks project, which has all of the similar pages, but it doesn't have any CMS built in. You can see that uh, it has uh, one page title, uh, page uh, title page, sorry. It has the pages for categories, for tags, but that's quite simple. This is just for people who want to use Blocks app only. But if you want to ex export your theme, your, your website is WordPress, you need to use the second file. You, you see it has the VP in the title. 
and there is also the actual theme already exported but obviously after you change it you will have to re-export it yourself but uh, this file let me open it in blocks this file actually uh, has all of the wordpress settings and all of the adjustments needed to make a wordpress theme and this is the important stuff because when building a wordpress theme in blocks 4 we have to follow completely different set of rules so uh, this template although it only has four pages here on top does have i think about 10 or something pages you can see all of them here needed for wordpress theme we have the single post template page we have the page template very simple but still we have all of the pages needed for categories and you can see inside blocks it will look something like that and that's on purpose because uh, inside blocks it will be a little bit different but when you export it of course it will be it will be what you see right now on eldertech.com my own uh, domain here and for example this post also uh, this page this website uh, also has the error pages as well so if we for example navigate to the page which is not on this domain you can see i have this custom made page for uh, this error and i have built the search functionality inside here as well using obviously wordpress so let's say i want to uh, look for construction and it will give me the search results page this is this construction template post i have on this template website and you can see it works as expected so uh well uh, i'm approaching wordpress not as a regular like build everything inside wordpress solution i am a biggest fan of blocks obviously so what i want to do when it comes to wordpress i would build every page like about work page contact page maybe some like projects page whatever inside blocks and these pages are definitely are usually staying the same they're not updated constantly but pages like block for example or it might be gallery or something like that these are something you update often so for pages like this i'm going to enable the wordpress support so basically we have the template here it has all of these pages built in blocks but for block page what you can do after you use this theme on your wordpress uh, website so this is my wordpress website i can add the new post here and let me actually open it so we can see so this is what you see what i have right now podcaster template january 8th and if i go to post on my wordpress dashboard click add new let me just quickly add one new post here let's say that uh well i think i'm going to add for template so kitchen template kitchen template and i will put put some kind of text here actually i will just copy that so i don't waste your time too long and let's make this bigger then let's add some image and i think i already have some images in my media library library here uh okay i don't have kitchen but anyway i will just use this one obviously you can uh, set all of the alt text caption descriptions here if you want i'm just going to put the image here and below here let's add some text once again i will just open this template this post and copy the text this is dummy text i just wanted to have something right here so this is the kitchen template this is how we compose the post inside wordpress obviously and inside here we can also set it to be well we set the category we can set the actually let's type the tag here you can see that we can add tags we can set the featured images so for kitchen i will actually upload something i think i have some kitchen look store so i will upload the featured image i will write the accept because these are 
all used in the template. As you can see here, if we go on the main page, these are what I'm typing inside blocks uh, WordPress dashboard at the moment. So after I've done everything here, I can just click publish. And now if I go to my page here and refresh it, you can see that we have the new kitchen template post posted automatically. And if we go inside, we will have all of the content, images and date, title, everything will be obviously populated automatically for you. We can leave the comment, cool comment. And this using, of course, the WordPress built-in comment system. And as you can see, it works totally fine out of the box. You don't need to do anything. So uh, this is how we add page, uh, how we add posts. But another couple of things I wanted to talk about are performance. And the reason why I kind of impressed by WordPress support we have in Blocks 4 Plus is that the performance you get from the static Blocks template Blocks website and the WordPress theme exported from Blocks is basically the same. So here I have, this is the demo for minimalist template, which is the static one. And it uses, actually, by the way, it uses the same image for all six posts here. So you get 98 and 100, wherever on GT metrics. But if you uh, check my Elder Tech, uh, the WordPress theme, the same style, everything but different images, you can see that it has basically the same, almost 100% for structure, performance, and it's very, very fast. So even though that this is WordPress, the Blocks, uh, Blocks application pro pro produces very clean and very fast loading code, and even without using any plugins. Right now on my WordPress theme, uh, WordPress setup, I don't have any plugins. I don't have any um, anything set and it still works very fast. And basically what it gives me, it gives me the perfectly looking regular blocks like website, beautiful website. This is the design you want. You can build anything you want, but it has the blog or gallery page, whatever you need, which will be easily populated we are the WordPress dashboard. And I think that it is very, very cool. And I'm not a big fan of WordPress, but even I am impressed about what we can achieve here. Now, is this easier than just using Blocks app? Not, no, it's not. It's, at first, it will be a little bit more challenging, especially if you never used WordPress before. But I highly recommend to go to Blocks Website Builder YouTube channel. And they have here the free course for WordPress support we have in Blocks 4. And if you just watch these nine videos, the developer of, uh, developer of Blocks, Norm, has provided all of the important information you might need for your WordPress theme, WordPress website. And uh, also on Blocks knowledge base, we have this WordPress short codes page, and this has all of the shortcuts all of the short codes used in uh, WordPress and Blocks 4. So you can expand on the functionality of this template I have here. And yeah, I mean, this is the first one. And even just covering this first template, the first theme, there's so much things I am talking about right now. So uh, this is, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. But once again, I'm sure that some of you will have questions. And if you just contact me, I will try to show you everything you need to know about using blocks templates is WordPress. And I was actually going to create my own free course for WordPress theme development in blocks 4, but well, developer of blocks, Norm, has produced his own, so I don't think it's necessary because it's necessary because all of the information you need are in these nine videos. And if you need to expand, just use these uh, short codes. These are very helpful. Now, just a couple of words about the actual template. I think I should mention that that this is the newsletter signup box, and this is not the regular signup box. This is using the Mailchimp. So if I type the my mail here, it will subscribe me to my Mailchimp newsletter. And 
well, it, it says that it is already subscribed to this newsletter because I already done that. But you can see that it automatically adds it to the newsletter. And that's very cool. Actually, let's try to type some other, other email address so you can see how it works. And you can see that subscription confirmed. This is all automatic. Uh, all you need to do to change uh, this uh, MailChimp box to connect it to your own. Uh, you, you need to follow some guidelines. I will actually put the document file there explaining what you need to do to connect your MailChimp to this template. So yeah, this is very simple template, very minimalistic. And by the way, it's one of my favorites yet. I think it's one of my favorites uh, because I do like very minimalistic websites. You can see it on my own website. But this was a lot of talking, a lot of rambling. I'm very excited to finally share it with you. And I have actually already added the WordPress support to construction template, which I have released a few days ago, actually. But I think that for the first template, for the first theme, WordPress theme, built-in blocks, it will be better if I make it as simple as possible. And this minimalist template is very simple very easy to use and i think this is perfect for anybody who just starting these blogs for and wordpress so if you have any questions once again leave them in the comments below or contact me at elder at hey .com or you know how to tell you you know how to get in touch with me i think and yeah if you have any questions i'm here enjoy using this template learning blogs this wordpress and i will talk to you very soon in my next video